Dragons and their bond with Targaryens have always been a topic of fascination in Game of Thrones lore. But can a Targaryen claim more than one dragon at the same time? Let's explore the history of dragon riders and uncover the truth. In Valyrian culture, dragons are incredibly intelligent, almost sentient creatures. They form a deep, almost magical bond with their riders. This bond is exclusive, meaning that once a dragon is claimed, it will not accept another rider unless the original one dies. However, there are no recorded instances of a single rider claiming and riding two or more dragons simultaneously. Historically, some Targaryens have claimed another dragon after their first one died. For example, Demon Targaryen initially rode Caraxes, the blood worm, but it's speculated he might have claimed another dragon had Caraxes perished. Similarly, Aegon, the Conqueror's sister wife, Rhaenys, was known for riding Meraxes, but there's no evidence she sought another dragon after Meraxes' death. This shows that not all dragon riders feel the need or desire to form a new bond after losing their dragon. But what happens when a dragon dies? The rider can indeed claim another, as seen with Aegon II, who claimed Sunfire after losing his first dragon. However, it's worth noting that the bond with the first dragon can be so deep that riders often remain dragonless, unable to replicate that connection. In summary, while no Targaryen has ever claimed and ridden multiple dragons at once, history proves they can form new bonds if their dragon dies. But these instances are rare, highlighting the singular and sacred bond between a dragon and its rider. The fire of the dragon runs through the veins of the Targaryens, but even they are bound by the mystical laws of dragonkind. The lore of dragons is as fiery and mysterious as the Targaryens themselves, making this question a fascinating piece of Westeros history.